Welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus. This is the original Metaspeed Sky. And this is ASICS's premium flagship marathon racing shoe. Since it launched last year, it's been my favorite super shoe and it even helped me achieve a half marathon PB of 85 minutes, which is about four minutes and four seconds average pace. That was earlier this year. The way I see it, the Metaspeed Sky has the perfect combination of all the best features of the top tier racing shoes. It's got that powerful springboard effect of the Vaporfly Next Percent. It's got the efficient rocket geometry of the Adios Pro 2, and it has the stability of the Alpha Fly Next Percent. This year's Metaspeed Sky Plus has been supercharged with even more FF Turbo Foam. It's also got a wider base, and it's got an updated upper. This all comes in in a 0.2 ounce or 6 gram heavier package than the original. So how do you improve the perfect racing shoe? You either make it lighter, you make it faster, or you make it more comfortable. Now we already know from the stats that the Metaspeed Sky Plus is heavier than the original, but has ASICS managed to make it lighter and more comfortable? When I held the Sky Plus in my hands for the first time, it felt more four foot heavy than the previous version, which felt very well balanced throughout the shoe. It also felt more clunky and not as aerodynamic as last year's version because of this extra foam in the forefoot which bulges out at the sides. When I walked around in it, it also felt really different to the last year's version because of this new higher toe spring. It felt like I was wearing elf shoes with my toes pointing towards the sky. The new upper felt much softer and much more comfortable. My first run was a speed workout consisting of 500 meter intervals. And it ranged from around three minutes 30 per kilometer to four minutes 30 per kilometer. The most noticeable thing for me was that the carbon plates didn't feel as springy or as aggressive as last year's version. The forefoot felt more cushioned, but it almost felt like the carbon plate was buried underneath more foam. The ride felt much more stable because of the wider base and the new upper felt amazing. It just disappeared on my feet. So even though, though the ride didn't feel as fast, it felt more comfortable and more cushioned. ASICS has made a couple modifications to the midsole of the Sky Plus, which have changed its ride drastically. They've moved the carbon plate in the forefoot upwards in the midsole towards the foot. So it's now a much flatter profile than before. Version 1 had a carbon plate which dipped down sharply in the midfoot and this allowed the front of the carbon plate to be anchored by the ground so when you loaded the heel it would shoot you forward like a springboard similar to the Vaporfly Next Percent 2. But the Sky Plus's forward propulsion now comes from the high toe spring and the forefoot rocker geometry. So the ride is more similar to the Adios Pro 2 and the Alpha Fly than it is to the Vaporfly. With version one, it felt a lot faster because of the more aggressive plate setup. But now with the Sky Plus, I feel like I need to work harder to increase my pace because I don't get as much mechanical assistance on the shoe. The Sky Plus is a tamer beast than the original Sky. It's got less speed, but it's got more cushioning and more control. And this makes it a better long distance racer. Up tempo paces between four minutes per kilometer and five minutes per kilometer is where the shoe felt most comfortable for me, where it performed the best. But at fast paces below four minutes per kilometer, I didn't feel enough forward propulsion from the plates and the midsole setup. So I found it really difficult to maintain fast paces. But for my target marathon and half marathon paces, the shoe felt much better. The outsole of the Sky Plus is similar to its predecessor, but the main difference is that it has less rubber now. These forefoot holes are bigger, and there's also less rubber on this forefoot midfoot section, which allows for some weight loss. 
There's now a shallow cavity under the midfoot and this helps to center your weight and improve stability. Outsole grip is as good in the Sky Plus as it was in the original Sky. And it grips so well because this outsole is really soft. But a soft outsole also means that durability isn't great. And if you're a heel striker, you'll notice a lot of wear in this heel section that's not covered with rubber. I've run 194 kilometers in my original Metaspeed Sky and there's a big hole in this heel section. So I expect version 2 to be the same. One of my biggest gripes about last year's version was the shoelace. It felt really cheap, soft and furry and it started fraying after a couple runs. But I'm glad to report that the shoelace on the Metaspeed Sky Plus is much better. It's now ribbed and it reminds me of the one that's on the Vaporfly Next% 2 and the Alpha Fly. And it's finally a shoelace that's deserving to be on a $250 shoe. The new mesh that they've used is softer and smoother and it doesn't bite into your socks like last year's version did. It also doesn't leave fluff behind on your socks. The mesh is also much more breathable so the Sky Plus is a cooler shoe. When it comes to fit, I went down a half size in the original Metaspeed Sky, but with the Sky Plus, I go true to size. The toe box is higher, but the width feels much narrower. So I'm afraid the Sky Plus is another super shoe that's not suited to wide-footed runners. The heel tab and collar have ample padding, so heel lockdown is good. And overall, the Sky Plus's upper feels far superior to the original version. It feels more polished and the fit has improved. It might seem like a minor update because of how it looks and because of its name. But the Metaspeed Sky Plus performs completely differently to the original version. The new plate location inside its midsole gives it a more reserved, more subdued ride character. So it doesn't feel as fast or as propulsive. The Sky Plus is a classic example of changing too much all at once. I would have been happy with the midsole of the first version and an updated upper and some extra outsole rubber. The Sky Plus isn't a bad shoe, but it's just very different to the original. It's got more forefoot cushioning, which makes it a better long distance racer for slower paces. And it's got a more stable ride because of its wider base. Its upper is also much more comfortable than the original. ASICS has managed to make the Metaspeed Sky Plus more comfortable, but they've failed to make it faster and lighter. So if you want a faster shoe with a more powerful carbon plate, get the original Metaspeed Sky. But if you want a more cushioned shoe that's more comfortable, get the Metaspeed Sky Plus. If you've run in both versions of the shoe, let me know down in the comment section below which one you prefer. Thanks for watching the review and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.